In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Checkout with your Web Starts website. Start by going to google.com forward slash checkout. Now, if you haven't already done so, what you'll need to do is create a Google user account. But if you already have a Gmail account or you've signed up to use some other Google product, you probably already have a Google uh, user account and you'll want to use that account login information to get uh, into Google Checkout. So I'm going to go ahead and start by logging into my account. And then uh, in my once in my account, I uh, can see some of the orders that I've placed in my purchase history, things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and click on the My Sales link, and then that will take me to a page where you'll see a few tabs like My Items, Orders, Payouts, and Tools you're going to want to click on the tools tab and then uh, from the tools tab what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to verify your password again because you need to get in uh, to a secure area so I've done that and now there's a number of different options you can do but what for this demonstration uh, we're going to click on buy now buttons that's going to create little buttons you can place on your web starts website that will allow people to purchase your products and services with their credit card or their Google checkout account um, on your site. Now there's a few different button types that you can choose from. You can choose the drop down one which is uh, shows some basic button options and you can configure those. Uh, but for this one we're going to do the uh, buy now Google checkout button. Uh, here you can specify whether you want the background of your button to be uh, uh, white or whether you want it to be um, colored. Uh, I guess the colored button looks something like this and the white looks like that. So uh, once you've made your selections you can choose whether you want whether your item is a digital good or an item that needs to be shipped. Type in your uh, product ID I mean your product name so this could be I'm just gonna call this test product and then just type in your price and then your product description. So once you've done all that, click the create button code and that will display the code that you're going to need to then copy and paste to your Web Starts account. You can do this by just clicking at the top of the code that's displayed and then holding down the left button on your mouse cursor and highlighting all the code and then you want to right click with your mouse and choose copy. Then we're going to get over to our Web Starts uh, page editor and you're going to find the page where you would like your buy button to appear on and uh, I've selected to put it on the home page of my account. And then you're going to click on insert and choose HTML code. And then paste. I'm going to click allow access because I'm using Windows Vista and then boom you're Google checkout button is uh, then available in your web starts editor. You can drag and drop that where you would like it to appear and then just uh, click the save icon and then click on the link to your site to preview how that works. And now when people go to your site they're going to go ahead and um, be able to click on that buy now button and pay for your products and services. So now your customers will be able to complete purchase transactions through Google Checkout. Please visit webstarts.com to make your very own free website and see more helpful videos like this.